initializing monetization. Monetization process successful. Hello and welcome back to another short episode of Live ZMU TV, Raw and Uncut, brought to you by Team ZMU and your host, Armand Nicholas. Today we're going to be talking about why many of you are choosing YouTube as the main platform for your social media uh, outlet at this time. So we're going to be discussing five reasons why YouTube is the greatest social media platform current to date. Okay, so there's a couple of um, big obvious reasons out there. There's over 2.4 billion users on a monthly basis on YouTube, but that doesn't really matter if those um, viewers or those uh, users are not actually engaging into YouTube, but that's not the case. They're actually engaging and it's pushing and it's propelling YouTube to the next level. And that is why you see a lot of these adjustments being made by YouTube management in regards to their algorithms got to be a little bit more pristine, the way that they basically count all of your views, your hours and, 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 and um, subscribers, right? So let's discuss the five main reasons why YouTube is possibly, and I believe is currently the greatest social media platform out there that's available to anyone who chooses to open up a YouTube channel. So let's get right down to it. First thing that we have to discuss basically is where YouTube came from and how social media erupted, right? Since social media platforms officially began somewhere back in the 90, uh, 96, maybe 97, uh, uh, early part of 97, there has been countless attempts, right? There's been countless attempts um, and a handful of monumental success in that landscape, right? Um, Facebook being one of them, right? Social media blew up with Facebook. And for the people that are old enough, you probably remember all of those other ones from previous times, right? Uh, MySpace, uh, Friendster, and all of these other um, social media platforms that never really took off like the way that Facebook did. So when YouTube came around, basically it took them a little bit of time to ramp up, but they succeeded in getting to where they are, uh, where, where they're at now. So despite the great examples of social media platforms out there in, in, in its recent history, one channel basically stood out um, mainly in particular, right? And that is YouTube. YouTube is very different the way that they operate. There's competitions for YouTube out there, right? Um, there's a lot of other platforms that you can upload videos, but it does not have this, the same or even close to the similar success that YouTube has. And this is why myself or you who are watching this now are probably using YouTube, whether to view um, content or to use YouTube as your primary platform to deliver your message or your content to your viewers and subscribers worldwide. Now, by definition, by definition, a successful social media platform is a thriving, it's a, it's a, it's alive, it's an, uh, it's a living ecosystem where brands, right, content creators and users all benefit from leveraging the platform. So where the brands, the creators, content creators, of course, uh, and the users all basically uh, exist in a, in, in, in a bubble, in a world where they can all benefit from each other's services and uh, information. So by this definition, the most effective social media out there is YouTube. It's that simple. YouTube actually has all of those key ingredients that makes it a perfect ecosystem for um, people like us, right? So, you know, I, I'm not here basically to, to boost uh, YouTube or anything like that, but these are facts, right? These are facts as far as what's going on out there. Um, you all should probably, or you all probably do agree that YouTube is a completely different platform. Uh, does YouTube have an end? Everything has an end. Is it anywhere near? Absolutely not. There's a lot of growth for YouTube. So, you know, if, if, if you have a lot of uh, a desire to project uh, 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 and send your message out to the world, YouTube definitely is the major platform, right? So let's discuss the five main reasons why YouTube is considered to be the greatest social media of its time. Number one is obviously what we all as creators would want to see, the possibility, right? The possibility of compensation, 
revenue, income, right, for creators like you and I. So we all have this desire of monetizing in, in, in the hopes that once we monetize, we can acquire uh, subscribers, viewers, or loyal followers that would view our videos uh, and appreciate our content that would allow us to generate some revenue. So that's the number one reason of YouTube um, uh, platform, right? If you want a fresh content uh, consistently being pumped out through, uh, through the platform, YouTube is the place to go. I mean, every single hour, we discussed this in previous video, every single hour, there's over 400 hours. Uh, I'm not, uh, not every single hour, every single minute, every single minute, there's over 400 hours of new YouTube videos being pumped up, being uploaded for you and I to see and to, 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 to gain information from or to educate ourselves, right? So, there's a lot of, of, of content that's out there on YouTube, right? At this moment in time, platforms like Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, they don't directly pay influencers, right? They don't directly pay influencers. Instead, influencers have to look for third-party agreements, third-party um, arrangements or, 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 or partnership or collaboration to be compensated for their work. It's a little different when it comes to Instagram or Facebook or TikTok and, and all those other platforms where YouTube, it is directly linked to it, right? Through your uh, Google AdSense, right? I mean, it's, it's directly linked to it. If your videos are popular, you're going to get monetized and when you're monetized you get ads on your videos which means that revenue starts to add up on your channel that you could hopefully potentially um benefit from right you know at the end of the day that's what a lot of creators and content creators or influencers are using youtube for is that possibility to generate income are there other means of generating income besides youtube absolutely there are, i mean uh in the previous video uh you could watch it if you want in the channel there's 21 different ways that we discover that there's different avenues besides Google AdSense or YouTube uh, partner program, right? But a lot of their uh, revenue is still generated internally through their YouTube contents, right? Creators um, compensation flow charts. I mean, if you look at some of those uh, flow charts of, of how they, they get compensated, it's, it, it's, a, it's a unique equation. But at the end of the day, once you understand your analytics, once you understand how your channel is being viewed, where it's being viewed, where your subscribers are coming from, you can literally manipulate some of this information to benefit you and your channel. So at the end of the day, compensation, yes, that's the primary reason why people come to YouTube. Number two, community base, right? Community base. I would probably think um, the compensation plays an enormous, a large, you know, a, a, a part of why people go into YouTube or use YouTube as a platform. But the community part of YouTube, I mean, I can speak for myself because of what our team does and how our team operates. There's a, a sub community uh, that we have uh, as well as we're all YouTubers, right? But just the community that the, the entire YouTube platform provides it's just like facebook but a little bit more tight-knit because people will actually follow you and continue to learn from you i personally have used youtube countless times outside of the team things that i need to learn things that i'm looking for information things that i don't want to read a book about and i just want to watch a video to make it a lot easier for me to learn from right number three mobilizing um i guess starter uh, startups right startup talents uh mobilizing uh underrepresented talent now you have to understand that let's say that you're a, a singer right you're a singer and you got discovered and you got signed up with a major label well good for you lucky for you that's something in the youtube world considering to be like a viral video right but not everyone has that kind of luck there's a lot of hidden talents perfect example right the um uh, in, in the Philippines, uh, Arnel Pineda, he was discovered in YouTube, right? I mean, he's the lead singer of Journey now, right? He was discovered in YouTube from one of his videos, right? He's underrepresented. He probably did not think he had the talent to sing that well until they discovered him. There's a lot of people in YouTube that get discovered from there, right? Because of their hidden talent. Look at some of these uh, big videos. Big videos, right? Uh, big channels, uh, Ryan's World, you know, Blippi. These guys now have Netflix uh, contracts and, uh, and agreements. Where did they all start from? They all started from YouTube. So what's to say that you are not the next underrepresented talent that gets discovered through YouTube, right? So it's mobilizing. It's allowing these individuals 
to be discovered. If there's a platform for them to showcase their talent, to show to the world what they can do and how well they do it. And if those talent acquisition people are, 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 are good enough in surfing YouTube and looking for those talented individuals, they could find you. They could find you and obviously provide a platform for you to get up to the next stage, right? So it mobilizes these individuals to the next level, which is which is unfounded. It's it's phenomenal. If you guys have, take away Facebook, take away YouTube, right? How do you think some of these talents can be discovered? I mean, we all remember back in the day where you have to spend a ton, thousands and thousands of dollars for a talent coach. You have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars for a representative to represent you, to put you in front of, uh, of producers, to put you in front of marketing uh, uh, companies, right? Now YouTube does that for you. You just have to put yourself out there, right? YouTube is is the home. It's it's the home for to a lot of aspiring filmmakers, artists, right? Um, co uh, content creators, talented graphic designers. I mean, it's their it's their platform. That's how a lot of them can get discovered, which is which is which is wonderful. I mean, think about it, right? The 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 the, the potentials are endless at that point, right? Number four. Um, this is huge because this is actually the first time, um, uh, well, it's one of the founding content that started up YouTube is the gamification, right? The gamification and recognition, okay? Um, again, YouTube gets it right for, uh, for its creators through the gamification, right? And recognition of effort. YouTube currently offers three awards. Right now, there's three different awards that YouTube offers for creators reaching uh, certain milestones, right? Whether it's subscribers um, uh, and, and of course views, watch hours, um, you know, how, how, how their channel grows, right? But at the same time, the, they made that recognition, they made those, those milestones like a game. It's a, it's a game from, right? We all know those people that have those diamond play buttons, right? The diamond play buttons that says that they have 10 million subscribers, right? I mean, it gets pretty insane. And of course, when you see some of their channels, I mean, you, can, you can't even imagine, I mean, I can't imagine the kind of revenue that they're getting from their subscribers watching their videos, from their uh, uh, collaborations with companies, uh, promotional products, uh, affiliated marketing that they do, and of course, anything, any other products that they put out there for their viewers. I mean, think about having 10 million. I mean, just look at, you know, 500,000 uh, uh, loyal subscribers. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can use that follower base to your advantage. So they made that like a gamific, uh, 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 they gamified that process and they are recognizing those people with these awards that YouTube provides. Okay, so that's number four. Number five, YouTube definitely is not afraid of competition. YouTube knows exactly where they stand and how they stand and how solid their platform that number five is they welcome competition. They're welcoming, they're welcoming competition. It's because it allows YouTube to even propel faster. It allows YouTube to showcase the benefits of being YouTube or being a YouTuber even more. Social media platforms, like all businesses, right? Like all businesses should welcome healthy competition. Healthy competition allows you to grow, allows you to get to the next level because you either compete to survive and be better or you die off, right? I, I, I think, um, what was it? I think I, I think there's a tremendous validation uh, in, 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 in YouTube uh, as far as the market goes, okay? Um, and, and we're just happy that we're part of it. That's, that's how we literally feel is that we're just glad that we're part of this journey, right? It's a long journey. It's a tedious journey. It's it's painstaking journey, right? It's it's an it's full of anxiety. It's full of a lot of pressure. The, the, I mean, there's a lot of expectations, but we all feel that if we don't keep up with our channels, we're gonna get phased out. So we have to continually just keep going and going and keep uploading new content, new videos, new information for our viewers that they're depending on the channel. Can you imagine if you just stop? 
if you're if you're consistently posting videos let's say once a week and then all of a sudden you stop posting and then make it once a month all of a sudden you'll notice that your viewers and your subscribers are are going to start looking for somebody else to count on they're going to start looking for a, a different channel that they can go to to gain more information so the you know the competition is fierce right the competition is fierce and the stress is real right the struggle is real when you're a youtuber you have to consistently keep uploading new content and new videos right the marketplace describes um uh, uh, uh describes youtube uh, uh the landscape is is very different the landscape is very different the com the competitive nature of youtube allows content creators who are valid content creators who are relevant to continue to propel themselves right you could certainly make the argument that Facebook, right? Facebook is the king of social media at one point in time. And from different scopes, right? That is true. But Facebook strategy, strategy is different. It's, it's very different from YouTube strategy. Um, the revenue that you can make, uh, we talked about this before. YouTube's revenue uh, capacity and capabilities are two times what Facebook revenue is if you are posting videos or if you monetize your Facebook page right versus if you monetize your YouTube channel right so bottom line is when you take all five of these things into account again the five things that we're talking about are going to be main reasons why YouTube is the main platform uh, for social media right now is number one is the compensation for creators number two is the community that it creates for people uh, from around the world right from around the world basically being able to see your content number three is uh, mobilizing a lot of these talented individuals that without YouTube may have never been discovered right and number four is the gamification of the uh, and recognition of your success of your triumphs as far as uh, reaching certain milestones of your channel and last but not least the welcoming competition that allows all content creators of YouTube who are relevant, who are determined to just keep pushing new and better content out there for the world to see. So at the end of the day, if you look into the future, if you look into the future of YouTube, I mean, it's kind of hard to see what that could potentially be, but we have some form of idea, right? It is very clear. It is very clear from YouTube's perspective, right? Recent moves and recent changes that they have created that that, that that they have put into place it's basically not going to end right it's not going to end right um they have so much projections they have so much new things coming up yes a lot of these changes do affect a lot of the uh, content creators like you and i but if we adjust to it properly it's going to be just fine right we just have to adjust to the new norm right move you know certain moves such as push you know notification um uh, through youtube allows your subscribers basically to be notified of your new videos those things were not there before and that was a good change for us right um you know the the new thing that they did with uh, even non-monetized um videos are having ads on their videos basically allowing uh youtube to, to generate more and more revenue for themselves but it will come back to us when you're monetized when you're monetized you don't have to worry about those things it just kind of gives you a little bit of taste of what's out there and maybe could t uh, could allow you to push forward you may be sitting there and saying well that's all youtube's you know idea of basically wanting to generate more and more revenue for themselves it doesn't really matter you're in their platform you have to abide by their rules and regulation and play by their rules and regulation right so what does it all actually mean for for all of us what what's all of this stuff really mean well i know you know we all know we all know that not all social media platforms are created equal that's just the bottom line right at the end of the day youtube will always be the dominating factor until another uh platform arises and takes youtube out of the picture but quite honestly between youtube and being owned by google i would assume that the next platform that will compete with youtube is another company from google themselves basically having each other you know cannibalize itself and competing with one another you know doing uh, world domination right so at the end of the day i i just have this weird you know a uh, uh, thought in my head that says you know what i just don't think youtube is going anywhere anytime soon there's you know seven uh there's uh, uh, there's eight billion people in this world right and 2.4 billion people are already actively using youtube on a on a monthly basis which means that not very long from now every single person is going to be using youtube i mean i don't know of a single person that don't know what youtube is right unless they live in a rock under a rock or 
they live in a part of the world where there's no electricity, no cell signal, and no neighbors. <laughs> I mean, is it is what it is. So you you the world is your audience. The world is your audience, right? If you have good information and good talent, and you want people to see it, you don't have to just rely on friends and family to to hear it from you or see it from you. You can actually push that content out there into the YouTube platform and let the world see what you have to say or hear what you have to say and see some of those contents that you create okay so hopefully this short episode is again once of a, a, once again a value to you hopefully you learn something gives you that uh, that sense of security that youtube is not going anywhere anytime soon i know that we did a video on that as far as the future of youtube but i believe that this short episode will solidify it even a little bit more and hopefully um, encourage everyone, encourage all of you guys watching this. If you're a YouTuber and you're a content creator um, and then you have some information out there, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep moving forward and keep uploading those videos and let the world see your talent. So once again, I thank you for taking the time to watch the short episode today. And hopefully if you haven't done so yet, please make sure that you like the video. And then on the uh, top uh, or on the bottom, uh, put in some comments. I'd like to know what your thoughts are, what you've learned, if there was uh, of some use to you. If you have some personal experience as far as what your thoughts are, please put them in the comment section. Or if you have ideas as far as what videos we should be doing in the future, please put it in the comment area. Allow us to learn from your experience and be an educator as well. Show your talent to the world as I say, right? And if you haven't done so yet, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to be notified of new videos coming up into the near future. Once again, I thank you for taking the time to watch a short episode of Team ZMU Live, Raw, and Uncut. Once again, I'm your host, Armand Nicholas. We'll see you next time.